Hello and welcome to episode number six of this uh, Let's Play Workers and Resources Soviet Republic here at Hannibal Norris YouTube channel. Now, uh, today is going to be a glorious day for our Republic. Today is going to be the day where we're going to see machines rolling over the border and starting to build our precious Republic. So that's why we kind of have a uh, aerial su uh, su su not survival. S yeah, you know what I mean. An, an, an aerial photo of uh, what we're going to be build, starting to build today. Uh, and just to give you a little bit of a scale of how big the map is, I mean, it's big. It's big. So let's uh, go from one side to the other. Oh, it's further up here. Still, I kind of wish it was bigger, uh, to be perfectly honest. Um, the map is big, but it could always be bigger. Uh, oh, by the way, that was not good for the FPS. All right, let's, let's uh, go down here a little bit. Is this better? Okay. Anyways, we are going to be ordering in a bunch of trucks today. So let's uh, put on our working gloves and uh, strap in our working shoes. And uh, let's start ordering in some vehicles. Now, um, we did kind of plan out a bunch of things yesterday uh, where we... Yeah, we planned all of this. This is basically going to be our vehicle hub. But this is probably also going to be where we're going to be starting to make our own vehicles. Uh, but we will see what the future brings, what the future might hold. Alright, let's start from here. Actually, that's a terrible idea. Terrible, terrible idea. We're going to start here. And here we're going to be buying two oil tankers. So, two of those. And then, we will uh, go and greet them at the border post here. Here is the first one. And uh, then we can press uh, play for the first time in our Republic. Here he comes. Glorious and proud. Ready to fuel the Republic. On uh, filthy, muddy roads. Um, yeah, yeah. It, it looks cool. It's it's cool, cool looking truck. I stay within the 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 road, please. So here they are. Oh, by the way, uh, what you see there is uh, the um, voltage thing. Um. Transformer, here yeah, there we go. Yeah, I think this is a nice place for a city. I would be proud to live here. Of course, I'm not going to live here because, you know, I'm in charge of it. So I'm going to be living in, you know, a better place. Big city with uh, lots of amenities. But all the people that is going to live here is going to have a good time. So, uh, so there we go. And we are almost at our stop here, so let's uh, pause the game again, because that's what we do. Uh, we'll uh, wait until he arrives in here, there we go. Now that he is here, we can go and click Manage Officer Task, we're going to be adding a plus. We're going to tell him to go back where he came from. <laughs> and then he's going to be going down here, and he's going to be buying fuel from here. If we had uh, a fuel refinery up here, we could have told them to go get there instead, because that we didn't have to pay for, but here we do. So, from here, you would uh, probably put the fuel in here. Um, let's see, what is the maximum capacity of a free gas station? 20. Just fill it up. Fill it up, my friend. From there on out, we had a um, gas station over here. Fill that up as well. It is desperately needed, and then we'll fill that one up. Good. Um, while we are doing that, we're going to be buying uh, two dumper trucks here. And their job is mainly going to be uh, filling this up with coal. So, 
bumper trucks. We'll buy two of these. Like so. Do we need anything else here? Maybe we'll buy a uh, open, uh, sorry, a covered hull, so we can move um, stuff into um, the vehicle repair station here. We're going to be uh, a little bit low on those until we build ourselves a uh, university and research how to make our own vehicles in the Republic. So we'll buy it one additional. We'll, we'll spend a little bit of money. It's it's fine. It's fine. Um, so that is already one vehicle more than I usually do, so, um, so there is that. Um, here we're going to be buying three vehicles. We're going to be buying, uh, covered hulls. We're going to be buying this. And the reason why I'm buying this is basically it runs 60 kilometers per hour, uh, and it can hold 6.5 tons of food. This can hold uh, 3.5 tons, but it's, you know, you get more truck for the money. Uh, this is a lot quicker. It drives 70 kilometers per hour, but it can only hold, what, 4.7. And uh, this can drive 60, can only carry 2 tons of food. This can only carry, like, 0 0.63 tons of food. But there is, I mean, it, it's, it's not much... Not much uh, they can carry, but there is a um, reason to have them, and, and we're going to be using them, especially this one. But we're going to be buying two of those, and then we're going to be buying a refrigerator truck. If, you are, if you're like me and you kind of are a little bit forgetful and you say, oh gosh, what vehicle did I buy? Well, here you can kind of see what vehicle are in route to park here. We're just going to be buying a meat truck here, which is going to be delivering fresh bacon to our... Well, it's not going to be bacon, is it? It's going to be some sort of uh, mystery meat. Yeah. Anyways, he's going to be doing that. So he has like some cooling elements in his uh, cargo hold there, so the meat doesn't spoil. Um, What else do we need? Hmm. So we have done that one, we have done that one, we have done these ones. So let's start working on our construction vehicles. Okay, this is going to be kind of troublesome, because we're going to have to think about a couple of things. So let's, for example, go for a roller, which we're going to need to make asphalt roads. This is slow, this is super slow, but we can shove it into a open hauler, and here you can see, can load vehicles on flatbed with 13 tons. And um, this guy here is two tons, so we can uh, fit a couple of those into here. So, so let's just start from the bottom of the list here. We're going to have one roller, and we'll see here, uh, down here, I have one roller. And then we're going to have one paver. That is basically to pave the road. Like so. Uh, this paver here is also movable by a uh, open hull. And then we're going to have a bulldozer. Bulldozer, we're going to be buying one of those. And we have room for one more, and that is going to be an open hull. Uh, and we're going to do the um, this guy here, which can carry 30 tons of, not 30, but 13 tons of steel. Uh, this one can only carry 7, 9, 4, and 1. And this can drive 60 kilometers per hour. And the reason why I kind of am pointing out how fast they can drive, it's um, when, we, when we look at the roads here, Mud roads. Maximum speed is 35 kilometers per hour. If we upgrade the road once, we can drive 60 kilometers per hour. So uh, the SKD uh, vehicles that drive 62 kilometers per hour are fairly good for um, gravel roads. But then again, if we upgrade the roads even further to asphalt roads, they can drive 110 kilometers. I 
think that is the maximum. We can also upgrade them to panel roads, the panel roads, which allows us to drive 80 kilometers per hour. Now this one we can drive 120 kilometers per hour. I don't know why we. Yeah, we're probably never going to use this because it's um, it's not broken, but it's not looking very nice. It, it kind of. So if we have like a road here, it kind of has a nice curve, but um, the off ramp or the on ramp, uh, one lane road, it kind of has like a very edgy texture. It's not like smooth round, so that's kind of why. So until that is a thing that we can, you know, do, uh, we're not going to be building those, I think. So, that was one construction office taken care of. Then we're going to go over to the next one. Here, we're going to be buying uh, a road crane. So, basically, when you when you get over the, the first floor, right, you probably need some sort of way to elevate you up. So, a road crane would be nice. Uh, we are going to be using uh, this guy here. It can drive 70 kilometers per hour. And it has a speed level of 26. Now, I know Beeble Joe has... Uh, he's a, another YouTuber that kind of covers this uh, game quite extensively. I think he mentioned that the speed level is... All right, how can we explain this? So if we look here, we can have 518 workers at the same time. They're going to be building this thing with or without this thing. But if we have a road crane in here, 26 of these are going to get an enormous speed boost. If we have two of them in here, then we're going to have, what is that going to be, 40, 52 of these people are going to get an enormous speed boost. And then, you know, there is room for three mechanisms in here, so we can have three of them in here. But we're just going to be buying two of them. Well, so we're kind of on a budget. Uh, so... Double check, see if we actually have gotten two and not more. Yep. Then we're going to be buying concrete mixers. They are basically the ones that are going to be moving concrete from point A to point B and make our Republic solid. So we'll have two of those. Uh, that means we have filled up these two here with vehicles. So let's go onwards to the next one. Uh, here we're going to be... Um, needing a let's say we would like two excavators and one dumper and we can also have another open hole carrier so we can move the excavators they are also super slow um then we're gonna get another dumper because we definitely need more than uh, one and then, what else do we need here? We have rollers, we have roll kit, we don't need personal cars. We have a paver, we have open holes. Uh, we're going to be buying one of these. Um, not quite yet, but eventually. Excavators, we had two of. Dumpers, we have two of. Covered hull. Yeah, we're going to need one of these to move uh, electrical components and mechanical components. Um, and now I'm a little bit uh, uneasy because I can't remember what we have. Let's uh, buy one more dumper. And let's see, we can have filled up four here. Oh yeah, of course we need a bus. And we're just going to be using a micro bus. This can drive super quick. Uh, 90 kilometers per hour, but since we are driving on mud roads, we're just going to be driving 35 kilometers per hour. And it can move seven passengers. Um, we could do more, but I kind of like... So so basically why I kind of would like the microbus here. Okay, let me try and explain this. So let's say we build... Let's find something cheap and small here. This requires what? 32 work days. So if we have uh, seven passengers, right, they're going to be um, done quite quick. 
Uh, and and there's a, a big chance that you will end up like, oh, you just need two work days left to finish this. And if we had used, like, for example, let's see, is it uh, yeah, this guy here, if you use the SKD here, he would bring like 80 people to finish that. So then I kind of feel a micro bus would be better. So we're going to have to take more trips with it. But, um, you know. Okay, that is everything we need from the construction side. Now we are going to be buying a couple of trucks that we're going to be repurposing. So uh, let's take the technical services, for example. We're going to be buying, uh, let's see here, let's buy one sewage truck, one snowplow, and one SKD big garbage collector. I don't know if we went through this, but um, the type of garbage containers we have here. So these, they only get picked up by this, because this has like the mechanism behind it where we kind of just shove the container or the, yeah, the trash container on it and it kind of flips it inside it. This is just like a ginormous container. So, uh, so we're going to be using that. Uh, sewage, snowplow, and one of you. And then here we're going to have almost the same, but we, instead of having a sewage truck, we're going to have a water truck, container, and you. So we're going to have two snow plows. And then we're going to have here... We're going to have two of those... And we're going to have one of these. And the reason why we're going to have one of these is because maybe we messed up. It's a safety um, feature on my side. Uh, basically, if, um, if let's say, this building here can't reach this guy here, um, the trash that gets generated here is going to be stored outside in a little box. Uh, and... As I said, the big trucks, um, these, they can't pick up those tiny little boxes. But um, this guy can. All right. So now comes the fun part, because now we're going to have to think about the future. I know we don't have any wood industry, we don't have any gravel industry, but we're going to have to make room for that. Because we will, in the future, be making that. Um, so, we're going to need... Oh, also we're going to need ambulances and fire trucks and all that good stuff. So, let's just start by going through here. We're going to need one prison bus. We're going to need two police officers, or police cars. And we're going to need um, two fire trucks. So one here. And now we have filled this up, right, for four vehicles, four spots. So here, we're going to be buying another fire truck. And we're going to be having a felled tree capacity so one of these so basically what happens if we have a, a wood industry let's say we have a wood industry here the workers are going to go out here chop down this tree and they're just going to leave it here until we send out a vehicle to drive out here pick up the logs and then bring it back to a sawmill or whatever so what did we buy here we bought fire trucks so we're going to be having one of these. Uh, we're going to have... Let's see. We're going to have an excavator for our gravel industry. And we're going to have a dumper for our gravel industry. And these we can repurpose. That's why I kind of built more um, of these construction things. Uh, now we're going to have to figure out which one we were at. Yeah, this one. 
Okay, so... We now have the dumper. We're also going to need a droid. A droid? Yeah, let's, let's, let's get a droid. Come on, folks. Let it, let it happen. We're going to have one of these. They can move cement and aluminium. Now, we are not going to have any of this um, in the nearby future. But when it comes to the point where we're going to be building our own concrete plant, basically that allow us to not go down here and fill up our concrete mixer with uh, concrete, we can use cement and mix our own concrete. So that's kind of why we want to have one of these. And just one should be more than enough. Uh, I don't think I've ever had a Republic where I needed more than one of these. How many vehicles do we have here? So that was the dry ball. Um, then we're going to have six buses. I think should be good enough. And we're still going to use these because I kind of like to have a uniformed bus fleet. So we're going to have one, two, three there. And here we're going to have... Excuse me. Uh, buses. Two, three here. So that's six buses. And two ambulances. Okay. Uh, we'll fill this one up as well. And we'll need one more ambulance. Uh, I don't know which one is better. I just go for the cheapest one of the ambulances. Um, that means we have three additional things we could, could use here. So I think we're going to go with hmm, a dumper. One extra dumper could always come in handy. We're going to go with one extra covered hole. Oh, no, 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 no. What are we doing? We needed two of these. Oh, gosh, I almost forgot. Two of these. Oh, well. We have an extra dumper. Uh, I was kind of hoping we could get an extra one of these, but it's kind of too late now. So, that is um, all the vehicles we are going to need to build our Republic, I hope. So, let the madness begin. Uh, another thing we should do. So, these have... Yeah, we should probably set these up. And we probably also should go over what we're going to build and what we're not going to build. So, first of all, let's make sure that they know where to find all the resources they need. Workers, gravel, asphalt, concrete, steel, bricks, prefab panels, boards, mechanical components, and electrical components. So we'll click there, or you can kind of, let's say you have gravel being produced somewhere else. You click on the gravel, click on that, and there we go. Now it says here it will pick up gravel at this custom house here. Uh, we're going to be closing the window, because... Um, we're going to click there. If we don't have any selected, it basically says everybody here. There. So now they kind of can find whatever they like. We're going to set the auto search on max. So basically, you see the yellow, uh, the road turns yellow. If we bring that down to, let's say, 2,000, 1,000. Ow. Everything here within 1,000 meters. Well, that kind of makes sense because they are kind of in the middle here. But yeah, uh, let, let's say they couldn't go... Well, let's, let's just make a thing here. Excuse me. So we'll just make a random road here, which we of course going to be removing afterwards. Didn't I make a little thing here? Yeah, they will not go out here, because uh, they don't have range. If I do 2,000, they will. So, um, uh, let's uh, put a pin in that. Or you can just move the window, that'll also put a pin in it. Uh, that means we're going to be removing 
that road. Hopefully the point was uh, taken. Uh, did it actually remove that? Ah, interesting. Okay. And now let's uh, maximize this. Here we can tell it to, for example, only do roads, only do buildings, only do footpaths, only do conveyor pal uh, pipe, uh, conveyors and pipelines, only do factory connections, only do electrical wires. So you can kind of, if you like, you can kind of personalize the construction offices. Let's say we have one where we only do road, for example, and one that only does pipelines. Um, it's an option. I just like to have it on default. Uh, reconstruction. That basically means every building has a little bit of uh, lifespan. So let's just take a random building. This guy here. Building lifespan has 20 years. So 20 years is 100%. So every year, or as time passes... Uh, they will get more wear and tear, and we're going to have to repair them. And when they reach... Also, fires does affect the wear and tear quite significantly. So, um, when they reach 50%, basically, have already almost collapsed, they are automatically going to go out and reconstruct uh, the buildings. Um, if we have a... Uh, factory here. This is going to have two different stats. You have the building itself, which uh, has wear and tear, and inside the building we have machines. Like sewing machines and god knows what. Hopefully, hopefully air condition. <laughs> but yeah, so that is the machine replacement, so that's also at 50%. You could be, we can tweak this if, let's say, we, we have... Um, few buildings and we'd like to have them in pristine shape, we'll, we'll uh, bring that up to uh, 90%, so we'll keep it at 50%. We could potentially even bring it all the way down to 40%. But, uh, but yeah. Um, have we done everything here now? We're just waiting for uh, the vehicles to arrive. Uh, let's see here, this was a, um, a road thing, so we have... Yeah, we have those here. So if we click on this button here, deliver me mechanism only with trucks. If I click that now. If we get an order to, let's make this road asphalt, for example. They will not send... He will get the order. But he will not move out from here until he can go up here and sit on top of this vehicle here. Because it's so slow. It's, it's a good way. Same with the uh, Stalinka here, uh, the bulldozer. It can um, hitch a ride with this one. If not, it's going to be driving like what, 10 kilometers an hour through here and clog up traffic and everything is going to... Yeah, you know, it's terrible. Anyways, <laughs> uh, enough rambling about that. Again, I'm trying to explain a little bit as we go. I, I hope, uh, hope that is okay for you guys. Then here... Uh, this technical office, we're going to do the same here. Uh, water, sewage, construction, waste. Uh, okay, sewage and water, uh, we probably don't need. Probably. But we're going to do it anyways. So we're going to say here. So let's say we build up the university. Uh, all buildings has a... Um, let's see here. It has like an internal... A water storage tank. So the water truck is going to go out here, buy water, and fill it up. Or potentially, if we have a water substation, which should be here somewhere. Oh, well, this is a sewage thingy. Let's take a little peek underneath uh, this little nightmare here. Um, gosh, where, where do we have? Uh, where do we have our? Um, The water is coming in here, going in here, stored here, and then it gets sent out here. There we go. He, he can also fill water in to this guy here, which distributes water into a certain range. Okay, I hope that makes sense. 
So again, we'll increase the range here, and we're just going to do that for one of these. Because there is a copy feature here, and uh, if we just copy those all over here, I'm a little bit worried that it doesn't actually move the range meter. No, it doesn't. So we have to go over each and every one of them. But here, we can copy this up here, 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 and here. Now all of these should know where to find resources. But we're still going to have to go through all of them and put the auto search on. Like so. And same with these. 3,000, 3,000, and 3,000. Now, didn't we copy this? I don't think we did. So, we can't copy this. Oh, it's because we haven't done this. All right. There we go. Now we should be able to do that. So now we can copy here and here. Okay. Uh, nothing we can do. This is basically just a, a parking lot. So let the madness begin. We're going to go double speed because things are going to be slow. So he's already heading back. Hopefully he has enough fuel to... Uh, ooh. Ooh, yeah. Hopefully he has enough fuel to get back. So here they come, all our vehicles. All of them. Uh, we are going to be... Uh, uh, we'll keep that one up here. We're going to have to make some... Um, some more adjustments. There is one more thing we would like to go. And that is to do the construction uh, office assignment tool. Now this can be a little bit tedious to understand, but since we now have like one million uh, construction offers here, we're going to be selecting uh, a shift, just do that, and then we have all of our construction offers set as one. And then we can set construction, and as you can see, they have all the green ones is what they are already planning to build. Uh, and we're going to have to make sure that we don't build any of these buildings here that doesn't have um, have access to the bus stop. So that means this guy we're not going to be building. Uh, this guy we're not going to be building. This one we will. You we're not going to be building. 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 Uh, we're not going to be building. You. There is no need to have residentials here if they can't reach the bus stop. And you. Oops. There we go. And these two. Like so. Um, anything else we need to think about? I think everything here needs to be built. Oh, except for these. We don't need to be built. Uh, another thing we forgot to buy, which I always forget to buy. You can't put those in here. But we are going to be needing uh, some forklifts. We're going to be buying four of those. So... Let's find the forklifts here. Uh, they should be somewhere. Forklifts. So we're going to be one, two, three, and four. So that is, yeah, that is all that we're going to be buying. Now then we're going to be picking up. Um, oh, actually, uh, we should probably see if we are, what we are building here. We're going to be building you. Uh, we are going to be building, oh gosh, there is a couple of things we have got. You, we're going to be building you, 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 and you, and you, and you, and you. For some reason we can't build that one. I feel that is strange. Well, they might have to build this one first, so we're going to have to commission all this piping mess here. 
So we'll build all of that, all of that, all of that. And we're of course going to need to buy, uh, build all the electronic stuff here. Can't have a city without power. Well, we could, but you know, what's the point in that? We're going to build this expensive piece of garbage. Uh, we're going to be building this. We're going to be building that. And we're going to be building all this. And that. Mm, okay. Let's go. Um, let's double check here. Yeah, okay, look at that. We're going to be building this. And that. We're not going to be building the bridge yet. We don't need that. Uh, that we're going to be building. Oh, there is more. There we go. Alright. Now let's go and find here. See, everything here looks fine. We're not going to be building any of these. Double check. So they don't. Uh, this one we actually could build. Uh, this one we're not going to be building. Uh, these we're not going to be building. That means also we're not going to be building you, nor you, nor you, nor you, nor you. Nor you. I think we are good. Oh gosh, we have more here. We're not going to be building that conveyor pile. The aggregate storage, this guy, or that guy. Remember, we also had a uh, random viewer name here, so if you have, would like to have this uh, smoke-filled uh, crash area named after you, well, it's reserved for a viewer. And uh, we can remove that name. Uh, we're also going to be potentially putting a name on the city itself. Now, when we come, when it comes to naming uh, things. Um, I would, uh, let's say, for example, I, I usually call myself Hannibal. So the naming scheme is going to be Hannibal, Hannibalski, like S-K-E, like just end, end it with uh, S-K-E, or Grad, like Hannibal Grad, for example. So that is basically going to be our naming scheme. So let's uh, have you renamed and and other viewer. viewer. I can't spell viewer. There we go. Another viewer. And then we need this little thing here. We can't have this be called another viewer's custom house. And we're going to be giving this a name as well. There we go. Speak over. Okay. Uh, yet another viewer. Wow, my, my, my pumping is just getting worse and worse. Viewer. There we go. Yet another viewer. So we have like three lucky people that might have something named after them in my republic. You know where the comment section is, <laughs> right? Alright, so... What are we doing with time? We, we still actually have uh, a little bit of time left. So, remember we sent this guy out here to, to pick up fuel? Well, I, I really hope he will make it back. Uh, if not, we might have a serious problem on our hands. Uh, and the fun part is, when they go and deliver fuel, they're gonna go nuts. Like, all the trucks here are gonna go out here at once and trying to... Uh, to get refuel because they all kind of get to the border with very little fuel. And we're still getting people in here. Also, if you're wondering how I'm going to get those um, forklifts out of here since they can't drive on the road, uh, we are going to be using... We have one of these here. Yeah, one of these. So we're going to have him stats here, and we're going to have to s create a route to go here, pick up vehicles, and then deploy them. Oh no, are you for real? Is there a traffic jam somewhere? Seems one or more vehicle has stopped. 
Maybe a traffic jam has happened, or some vehicle has failed to find its route. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. As long as they're not uh, uh, using um, fuel while... There we go. So he's going to go in here. Uh, fill up with fuel, and off he goes. 11 tons of fuel on our way into the Republic. So let's uh, get a little bit of a cinematic view of this madness that is about to happen. And the cool thing, I like small details like this. Watch when he turns right. The blinker to the right, it's going to actually blink to the right. If we can see it through the dust cloud here. They use like brake signs. Let's see here when they go. A little bit longer. Come on. So. Come on. There we go. So, so it blinked right. Cool little detail. Okay. Now we actually have fuel in here. So everybody's going to go nuts and try and get fuel. Everybody is going to go and get fuel. Um, another thing that we would like to uh, have a little look at, I have like a certain way I kind of like to build my cities. Uh, I feel like there is more stuff here we kind of would like to, to build, like all of this. How can we forget? That's why we bought the, um, bought the thingamajiggy, uh, whatever it's called, uh, the uh, forklifts. So, we're going to be building that one, we're going to be building that one, we're going to be building that one, that one. And these we're just going to be... Uh, uh, actually, you know what? Let's not build uh, the uh, small headquarters here. I'm a little bit worried that we actually might not have enough for it. And we're going to be building that one, that one, that one, and that one, that one, that one. Um, no construction. They don't have a path out here? Have we not, uh... Oh, no. Ha! <laughs> we haven't actually given them a path. Uh, that was silly of me. No. All that planning and we still failed. Okay. So you go out here. Like so. And then we'll push you back a little bit. And you go up here and out here, and then we can do something like that. Now, we should be able to build that one, that one, and those. Uh, we would like to build... Which building was it? Now, these are just going to go on auto search, right? Yeah, I think so. Um, what else here? There's probably something here. Uh, we never put a pipe here? Is that correct? Seems like something I wouldn't have. Uh, let's use an above ground pipe. Or maybe not. So, underground pipe then. From here to here. We're not going to be building that either. It's just for future endeavors, right? And you're gonna go here, and we're uh, gonna be building all of this. We're gonna be building this thing here. That doesn't have. Oh, I see why. This is a gravel footpath. We just need to have a regular old dirt footpath. So that's kind of important. All right, um, anything else here we need to build? I don't think so. I think we kind of are good. We're going to be doing one little check here. Um, we're going to go here and we're going to click here and click one of the pipes. Because I have like a little funny feeling that sometimes piping section kind of moves. So I, it's probably just me who has been not doing it correctly, but uh, better safe than sorry. I'll do the same with the water pipes. Yep, they are 
seemingly all attached. Yes, and up here. Yes, okay. Let's continue the madness. And we already have uh, trucks rolling out here. That is... Uh, no. <laughs> oh, they're rolling out here for... Oh my. Oh my, oh my. Okay. Uh, we're also going to be planning out a, um, a road upgrade right away. And we're going to be making a cheat road, basically. This is going to be the road we upgrade. When we upgrade the road, then we can't actually uh, drive over it. So if we could make like a little cheat road here. Uh, it doesn't need to be pretty. Just to get from point A to point B. So we'll bring this out to here. Bring you up here out here and you up here and this is hopefully gonna save us plenty of time um, hopefully right whenever you say game um, this might have been a stupid idea. Um, oh, were, look at that, they're already making room for uh, the, uh, well, some of the pipes. And they're thinking, why are you ruining it? Ruining it the roads already. We're not. We're not. We're just making a little shortcut for them. So, we're going to be upgrading them to gravel roads. Gravel roads are rather cheap and effective. Um, we'll do that. We'll, excuse me. We'll upgrade that road. We'll upgrade that road. We'll upgrade that road. That road. That road. And we'll even upgrade this road. Uh, actually, we're going to be upgrading all of these roads here, all the way to the uh, heating plant here. Because when winter comes, death usually follows if you don't have um, the heating plant taken care of. Okay. Um, actually, you know what? We could actually go all the way down here. Uh, remember when I said that this might be problematic, since we have all these things here, well, it will be a problem, because we have to make so many smaller, um, so many smaller jobs, let's see, where are we going from here, um, probably out in this direction, and in that direction, that direction, and that direction. Now we're going to go over all these here and have a look. We're going to set these to high priority, uh, all of them, uh, and we're going to be, the reason why we're going over them, because sometimes if we make larger road sections that we can upgrade, like this probably, uh, we, um, yeah, so here, you see there is room for a mechanism, that means we can save money on encoding workers, so we'll set that to zero, it means we're not going to supply any workers to this. But we are going to be supplying a mechanism. Here, high priority. This one does have room for a mechanism, so we're going to go through that. No workers needed. High priority. High priority. No workers needed. High priority. Um. No workers needed. High priority. Uh, high priority. High priority. High priority. No workers needed. 
No workers needed. High priority. Same here. Same here. Actually, we could have the game running while we do this. Like that. High priority. High priority. Um, high priority. High priority. And... It kind of reminds me of uh, Biffa plays. You go there, who go there. <laughs> Alright, let's... Um, keep going. We're almost there. Uh, you need workers. You need workers. You need workers. Let's get them to high priority, though. Uh, I would imagine the trucks are still trying to get fuel in their little thingy. There we go. Let's see if we can actually build any of these. Uh, we can build that one and that one because they are connected to a cheat road. And that one... How come? Oh, it's... Pe I don't know why. We could build that one. Oh, it's because we have a cheat road here. Okay, we have a cheat road here. Cheat road here. Um. And we can build that guy. And that guy? Oh yeah, we can come up here. Here are some of these I don't quite understand why we can... Oh yeah, of course, they can go up here. Ah. Smart game. All right. <laughs> now, let's uh, have a look and see what our construction offices are doing. Hopefully they are all... Oh, look at that. We're already making progress on a water pipe here. Um, seems like they're not doing a lot. Is that just me or... So these are all the construction orders that we have going for us. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. Oh, hello. You, uh, you are not finding your way home. Because... Oh, no. Oh, no. Can we make a cheat road here? I think we have to. We can make a cheat road that goes out here. Uh, yeah, we definitely need to make another cheat road. Um, but it doesn't need to be like overly dramatically long. Like so. Now you should be able to find your way home, right? Okay, so... Upgrading roads can lead to uh, to uh, severe traffic uh, issues. Let's see here, we're already coming with uh, 9.5 tons of gravel. And... Um, why are you thinking this? He's driving through all the cheat roads, that's for sure. And uh, we already have a road crane out here doing some work. Here we go. Good job. So that is uh, some of that taken care of. Let's, um, let's see what else we are doing uh, or not doing. We're still refueling. It's probably going to take a while. So I would like, it, it would be interesting to hear your guess. When do you think we're going to get our first people into our Republic? That guess would have been uh, interesting. To read in the comment section. Uh, another thing we can do to speed up our um, building here is to have these two uh, set. The reason for that is when a building get to a certain point, they're finished with the ground phase, and then they kind of just need like one or two phases. So we're gonna be keeping one of these and set you up to high priority. So every time 
a road crane does a thing when he goes out from his construction yard we will get a notification here oh he's working on the university so we'll set the university to high priority and that kind of helps us to kind of not sit here and micromanage all of these um, things here so here is this one here I would imagine so that's where the road crane is and all the roads that we have, they are also going to... Oh, let's see how we are doing some work here. Right, we'll just close that. So here we can see. First little bit of road is being made. Almost done as well. It's quick to make um, gravel roads. If, you, if we upgrade them directly to um, asphalt roads, well... Problem's going to be a little bit worse. Speaking of Asphalt Road, we are going to actually upgrade a couple of things to Asphalt Road. This guy here, and actually, maybe this guy here, and that guy here. Uh, reason is, it's going to be tricky to, uh, like, it's going to be tricky to upgrade um the section uh, there is one thing more i'm looking for and that's the bus stop bus stop where you are here we're going to be upgrading that here as well uh and we're going to be upgrading in that direction so oh look at that we're already working on something else here a uh, sewage tank we'll put that up to high priority so that uh, all our delivery trucks know that, oh yeah, this is high priority. If they need uh, bricks or manpower, they can get there. Uh, that they will get it. Now, we also had like a million other trucks here that we bought. And we're going to be repurposing some of these. Um, so, let's think here for a minute and a half. Um, do we have a place where we have, let's see, you are here, oh, gosh, did we only buy two, um, two open holes? Okay, so you, will move you over here, and we'll move you over here, because he can be moved with with this guy. Uh, what else can we use? We can use one of these. He is... Mainly we have bought this guy because he's picking up wood. But he can also move steel, prefab panels, aluminium bricks and boards and plastic wastes. So we can use him. So that's what we're gonna do. And we also got ourselves two dump trucks here. Which we can use. Actually, the third one. And we're also going to be using quite a lot of the buses here. Which then we're going to be repurposing to moving people from well, A to B. Um, so certainly I've forgotten something very, very important. Well, I guess I will read about it in the comment section. Or future Hannibal is going to be um, upset. Uh, we could also actually utilize some of these. <clears throat> it's not quite necessary, but we have room for it. So, let's see. You are still... You're still waiting for steel and electronic components. Okay, what are we bringing here? More gravel. More gravel to the road. Uh, we're also going to be making a sheet road that goes across here. So that we can upgrade this road segment here. And this road segment here. And then we'll make another sheet road over here. 
make it a little bit easier for our uh, construction vehicles. Uh, we could potentially also make a sheet load that kind of goes a little bit all over the place here. Sure. Perfect. Okay. Uh, just making it easier for our vehicles and the uh, mud roads we can move eventually. We are going to need to build at least those. And that one and that one. We'll set those in here. Uh, what else do we need to build? Uh, these two buildings here. We'll set those also to be built. There we go. So now they're all in the construction queue. Uh, you're not going to be able to be built right now because we still need to build a road here. And we can build those two. Oh, also, we probably would like to do that. High priority, no workers. Same here. No workers, high priority. And you can see, uh, there will be quite a lot of... Um, it's going to be quite a bit of a, a queue line down here. Uh, should we have this also be named, like, uh, I don't know, a water park or something? Like, not a water park, like a wildlife park, which we incidentally, you know, tap water from. Uh, yeah, we can do that. We can, we can make this also a name so we can get more people in here. Um, what should we call this temporary thing? Um, viewer, viewer park, something. All right, there we go. So we have uh, we have a viewer park something. Also, if you look at the blue dots, that's kind of the range. So if we build a building here, for example, it's going to be called Viewer Park Police Station, for example. If it is a police station we're building. So, uh, so yeah, I think that is uh, kind of where we uh, would like to call it uh, an episode. Let's see if we can uh, get a nice little green shot here for the thumbnail. So... Um, yeah, uh, we have started making our Republic. The road is at least on its way. Um, some uh, potential for some progress here. So, um, yeah, I think that is going to be it for today. I just want to say thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, there should be a like button in the comment section. And of course, a red subscribe button underneath the video. It all goes towards helping us fight that pesky, pesky YouTube algorithm. So yeah, until next time, take care. And keep smiling. <laughs>